Hey guys, Perigi here. In this video, we're going to talk about auto layout and how to create new versions of the same artboard in a very fast and efficient way, which is going to be responsive. So for example, let's say that your client is having a lot of these type of models and he wants to create new versions, which are going to be for tablet and even mobile devices. Well, with auto layout, you can create very responsive elements in a very short amount of time. And we're going to go step by step how to create something around these lines and even make the entire component flexible. Now, I want to remind you that this is a part of the Big Sur UI kit, which is available for free at LS Graphics. And basically you can, I'm going to leave the link in the description, but now without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. So let's go and let's just pull up all of the UI in Figma. And we're going to create a frame around these lines. So the very first tip uh, that I have for you is to avoid creating a rectangle on top of the frame and, uh, and then, you know, basically like selecting the color because this is an extra step which is not needed. You can simply select the frame and go ahead and use the eye picker tool and uh, you can essentially have the fill directly like that so that you are going to have uh, a perfect coverage no matter what the size of the frame so that you don't have to tweak with uh, the rectangle. Now let's move on and uh, let's suggest uh, um, go ahead and create uh, another frame right here which is going to serve us for the main model. Let's apply a fill. So we're going to add some sort of a radius to it. And we're going to just go ahead and grab, in order not to reinvent the wheel, these elements. So they're, they're very simple elements, just you know, text layers here. Um, this other one is a group within, uh, you know, with different shapes and so on. And we're also going to deep select and select the bottom, which is simply an instance. So basically a component. So, all right, so far, so good. And as you can see, as we are creating and resizing this, we're going to have um, already some constraints uh, set up and you can set them, set them up directly from here. But uh, now really the test that uh, we want to do is uh, actually before doing that, let's just center of this uh, and uh, let's uh, go ahead and add a little bit of uh, uh, padding on the right just to match it. And uh, what we want to do here is to essentially figure out a way to have this uh, responsive element uh, uh, working well. So the way we're gonna do it uh, is uh, we're essentially going to say that <laughs> there's going to be a few different constraints. And let's make this one a auto layout element by using shift plus A. And as you can see, the dynamics uh, are changing a bit uh, since uh, now we're going to need to essentially tell Figma to uh, center of this directly from here. And uh, as you can see, these are the padding uh, from top, uh, left, uh, bottom, and right. So we ideally want uh, the same also on the top uh, and on the bottom. So this is going to be nicely. As you can see, you can pretty much like easily change uh, the basic layout from here. Um, also over here on the auto layout. And by the way, I have an entire video on auto layout. So I'm going to go through this briefly. You can select if it's a horizontal or vertical. In this case, we wanted the objects to be stacked vertically. And you can also change the space between the objects. So pretty easy uh, and uh, yeah, overall uh, pretty straightforward. And this is just a way to add more padding on uh, all the sizes directly. Now, an important element right here, and let's uh, center this guy again is uh, going to be the constraints because these uh, are essentially going to tell to Figma, hey, this is how this is going to uh, to work out. So let's say center here, let's do center right here. And as you can see, the moment that they select the center options, the element is going to resize uh, 
when the frame is, is resizing based on the X and Y axis. So basically the horizontal and vertical axis. And uh, if we select uh, something else, and by the way, it's important to have it on uh, high content. And the reason being is that it's going to be easier to, to deal with the inner element. So for example, let's, uh, uh, if we add like more buttons, you can see how this is going to resize immediately. And the same is true for pretty much all the elements so that you don't have to waste all your time like tweaking elements and, uh, you know, going ahead and creating like all sorts of different variations of that. So definitely something to keep in mind. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much uh, how you can create uh, different uh, artboards and uh, uh, resizing them in a very short amount of time uh, within uh, Figma. So hope this video was helpful. And uh, I want to remind you that uh, on my channel, I have over 400 videos on uh, UI UX design. I myself, I've been a UI UX designer for over nine years now. So I'm basically sharing my experience uh, directly in there. So hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.